Hey Chris. Okay, so here is your YouTube video that I said I would send you. Um, you should just be able to hopefully have clicked on the link and then you can watch this. Um, so first thing I want to talk about is your diffuser. Um, it's really simple. Open the box, get everything out. Um, and you can use regular water from your sink, distilled water, does not matter what kind of water you put in it. In the instruction book, I think it will tell you a specific kind of water, but I've traveled with my diffusers all over the place and I've been using them for years and I don't really find that it matters what kind of water you use in your diffuser. Um, you just may have to clean it more often depending on what you use. You can clean the diffuser with, you can just wipe it out um, because some of the oils have a color because they're from plants, right? So sometimes that can stain the inside of your diffuser. There's nothing wrong with that. That's not weird. It's a normal thing. Um, so you will need to just kind of wipe it out every now and then. And then depending on, like I said, the water you use, if you use like tap water, it's going to have more minerals in it. So you may see a little bit of that and like some vinegar, you know, things like that you can clean it out with. So, um, so yeah, it's going to be pretty simple and straightforward. Um, you can, uh, there's not a specific order that you need to put the water versus the oils in. You can do either one you want. It's not going to matter. Okay. Um, so, uh, you put your water up to the bottom of the little red mark that's inside your diffuser. Don't go over it because that can make it, uh, not work. So you go up, up to the bottom of the little red button that's in there. Um, put your oils in. Um, you can start with like five or six, seven drops. There's not a specific rule to that. Um, so you can put some in there, try it out. Um, and then you can always increase if you want. Um, our oils, whether you smell them or not, they still work. So you'll go nose blind a little bit. Like you'll get used to the diffuser and you'll think, that doesn't really smell anymore. That's okay. If you like leave and then you come back to your house, you'll smell it again. So you will go nose blind a little bit, but don't worry about that. They're still working. Not a problem. Um, so yeah, but you, um, when you first start using your diffuser, especially with citrus oils, like your citrus fresh, your lemon, things like that, um, you're going to maybe feel a little bit more thirsty, um, because that means the oils are actually working in your system. So just drink lots of water until you get used to it. Um, and then you, you won't notice that anymore. Sometimes it just has that initial effect. Um, one of my favorite things is to take the lavender, lemon, and peppermint I got for you and put those together. So like three or four three drops of each of those in your diffuser. Um, and that is your allergy trio. So it really helps freshen your, um, freshen your air in your house. It'll smell good. It won't hurt your pets. You don't have to worry about that. I would just say, um, any pets that you have around the oils, like they may react a little weird. Like they might be like, Whoa, that's strong. It's just because they have a better nose than us. So just make sure that they have, um, uh, I, I say an escape. Like, I know that sounds like they're dangerous. They're not. Um, but like, I wouldn't put your diffuser in like a really small bathroom and then put your cat in there and close the door. Like that's just too strong for their nose. Um, so just make sure they kind of have a way to, you know, to go into a different room or to do whatever if they don't like it. So, um, so yeah, but it's not, yeah, I promise it's not going to hurt your animals and pets. We've used, uh, oils around our animals for 10 years. So you're good. Um, so yeah, so your diffuser will have two buttons on it. One is the light and one is the actual power. Uh, it'll show you this in the instruction book. If you push it once, it'll be on low or sorry, high. If you push it again, the power button, it'll be on low. Um, if you push it for the third time, so like one, two, three, that puts it on intermittent. So it turns on and off every 30 seconds, I think. Um, so that gives you the longest use of your oils. So you don't have to refill that for gosh, like 12 hours. Um, so it's a really, really efficient way to use your oils. If you only use your diffuser and you never use your oils in any other way, that is totally fine. It will work perfectly and you'll get all of the lovely, amazing benefits. So um, I'm going to make you a different video that just kind of goes through the different oils and what they do. And that way it's not so long. Um, but yeah, so enjoy your diffuser. Oh, last thing, your light. Um, you When you turn the light on, it'll have a couple different lighting settings and different colors and fun stuff. If you do not want the light on, at all, like if you just don't care about that, just hold the light button down and it will turn the light off and the diffuser will still go. Um, so that's just really personal preference. So anywho, uh, so that'll all be in your instruction book as well. If you have any questions, obviously you can always text me anytime. I will always take your call. So um, yeah, enjoy.